right, so new products. We do have some <laughs> new products this week. We do. Um, gift certificates are in the store. They will be there forever. Um, Don't expire. They never expire. If you want to get a plus account, adafruit.io, it's only 10 bucks a month. That helps us. Adabox will probably be slightly delayed or mildly delayed or kind of more than anyone would want delayed, but stick with it and please promise we, you we we promise we'll get it to you we're, we're, we got, we were so close to getting everything in and yeah. it just it didn't happen but as soon as we get everything in yeah. we're gonna make these boxes so ship them you out. go to adabox.com and it'll be adabox ship adabox 15 will be shipping it just won't be right now okay first up we have an update for the clue we actually put in a, a couple hundred and we sold out pretty fast last week at friday we're now out of alpha um, only a couple small changes were made, mostly to make the screen a little self more centered, and we moved a couple parts around. But the uh, schematic and layout is identical, um, so very little change. I thought maybe I'd swap some parts out, but it actually turns out everything was perfect. So if you have an alpha, don't worry. Um, your board is just as good as the release. I just wanted to finally bring it out of alpha so people weren't concerned about like whether it was release candidate or not. Uh, it is good to go, and as soon as we're able to, we'll be making more. That's right. Next up. Uh, a half-size breadboard. Now you might be wondering, hey, wait, don't you already carry half-size breadboards? Yeah, but not one with holes in it. <laughs> this one has, uh, has some M2 or number two holes, uh, one centimeter apart down the center. Um, it's the it, emptiness that makes this so special. Well, it's, you know, if you want, like there's the, the, on the back, there's the foam like sticky tape, you can stick it, but I do find that dries out eventually. Um, so in this case, I, I like the, you can, uh, either bolt or screw on, or you can use like pop rivets to more uh, seriously attach your breadboard on. So I really like this design. Uh, we have a revision to the APDS 9960, the proximity gesture color sensor. Uh, if you liked it, we still have it, but now it's in STEM QT format. So you've got that plug and play quick compatible STEM QTs on the side. Uh, still the same schematic, same breakout, same pinout, but it's just now in um, our kind of standardized STEM QT, we're really getting the hang of this size, 0.7 by one inch, connectors on each side, breakouts along the bottom, very easy to use. Uh, and of course, we still have Arduino and Python code for it. And the star of the show tonight, besides our community, our customers and optimism and hope is this. <laughs> the HTS 22 from ST. Uh, this is a, a very nice and inexpensive little humidity sensor. It's got like, I think three degrees. Uh, accuracy, it could do temperature, 0.5 degrees centigrade. Um, also in our STEM QT format, has I squared C and SPI, but if you don't mind using I squared C, of course you got those plug and play ports on the side. Again, uh, we're kind of sticking to this format. We're getting really good at making uh, sensor boards in this size and style, and it makes it easy for people to connect quickly because no soldering is required. And that's the new products. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Set. Recap. Recap. New, new, we new. got gift certificates. We got Adafruit IO. We got Adabox. Later. We got an update to Clue. It's now out of alpha, but if you have an alpha board, don't worry. Almost nothing changed. I just moved the screen a little bit, moved a couple of parts, uh, components around the schematic, the hardware, the software is all identical. Uh, it's just now out of alpha. We have these breadboards, half size breadboards with holes. Number two holes, one centimeter apart, down the center, great for a strong mechanical connection. The APDS 9960 got a respin. It's now in a STEM QT format. It's got those uh, plug and play quick connects on the side, but the same sensor, same schematic, same code, and even the same pinout. Just that now it has even more mounting holes. And the start of the show, the HS 221 from ST. This is a lovely little humidity and temperature sensor. Uh, works great, and again, comes with I squared C for easy plug and play, or if you'd like, SPI, and we've got Arduino and Python libraries written for it. And that was new products.